All right, folks. So uh, it's uh, now 5.15 here in the morning. Uh, my Pepsi order came. So that's been brought into the store. And uh, I'm almost done right now uh, what I can do um, with the plow and a little bit of cleaning up. Like I said, we were fortunate that uh, we only ended up with about uh, 10 centimeters versus the 20 centimeters. Um, it is windy, as I say, uh, outside right now. Um, but other than that, um, I'm not sure if everyone's familiar when it comes to snow removal, snow plowing, things like that. Um, but there's more to it than just pushing the snow, uh, especially here in the north. You've got to push everything as far as you can and as, 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 uh, as basically as far as you can right in the beginning of the year. Because if you don't and you get a mild spell and you have banks, you're never going to push them without wrecking the truck, without wrecking the plow. Uh, things like that. Last year, you guys remember, we had major amounts. We had eight feet of snow recorded here in Thunder Bay and trying to push it and move it was uh, a nightmare. Um, here at the store, I have a fair sized lot. You guys have seen it in some of the videos. Uh, it's not just pushing snow forward. There's a lot of back blading. Um, I also own a 24 inch Arians um, snow blower for the areas that I can't get with the plow, of course. So you can well imagine that. There's walkways, paths around the uh, gas tanks, uh, fill up areas, um, even around uh, the front of the store uh, over towards the house. I have to utilize uh, the shovels. I have to utilize the snow blower, and I even utilize the quad uh, with the plow on it. Uh, for me, one of the things here, plowing using the truck, is that I overheat. And um, I try to keep the window rolled down. A couple of the windows just cracked, but what happens is you get uh, water and snow blowing in uh, into the vehicle as well. But you tend to overheat while you're in here uh, plowing. So, uh, you know, that's just one thing that, uh, you know, for some, might they might enjoy it. Uh, but for others, it can get a little uh, a little monotonous, especially if you're at it for a couple hours. And uh, with you know power windows and stuff, you don't want water and snow getting onto the handles and uh, buggering up your uh, your uh, windows and your door locks and all that other stuff. So anyway, it's 5:15. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to park the truck. I'm going to leave the truck here at the big door for now. And uh, I got a little bit of shoveling and sanding and salting that I need to do this morning. So we're going to do that. Uh, the remainder of the driveway, you know, I'm just going to let it pack down. Um, because as you guys knew on Saturday, uh, I was plowing slush. I do have some video I need to upload uh, on the quad of uh, pushing all that slush around. Um, a little bit of a longer video than what I had posted. And uh, we were down to uh, pavement. So I do need a base uh, here uh, in the store yard, uh, it's a little easier on the plow and on the uh, the cutting edge on the plow. So uh, I do need to do that. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to get back in the store, uh, get ready to open here. I uh, usually open around 5.30. Store opens at 6, but I'm usually in early and I open at about 5.30. So I'm going to get ready to do that. So, all right. So Wednesday, November 30th, 5.15 a.m. here in Thunder Bay, Ontario, YQT. Guys, take care. Have a good day, stay safe, and uh, yeah, we'll catch up with you all a little bit later. So this is Fred, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcraft Outdoors 7-3, folks.